Hey, good morning, Mike. Good to see you guys. Uh, born on this day, Dr. Seuss, so oh. it's kind of Dr. Seuss Day. And, uh, you know, we all love those books. We grew up with them, but he wrote them so long ago. Thought maybe we would alter some of the titles for uh, today's world to make it all more right. appropriate. Take a look. First, we have Green Eggs and Ham, curbside pickup only. Yeah. And then, of course, there's Mr. Brown is on lockdown. Sure. Also, you know, we know that the cat in the hat is, uh, you know, very popular, but <laughs> today's world, the mask and the flask just seems right. a little yeah. bit more yeah. appropriate. Yeah. And thing one and thing two have been quarantined together for so long, so we have stuck with Chuck, what the heck? <laughs> All right. <laughs> That's a new one. It's <laughs> good. Yeah, it's Thank catchy. you, Mike. No, you bet. Thanks, Mike. Nine at nine has puppy dogs, skiing birds and fashion vlogs. Start at nine, go down to one. Oh, Mickey, you're having fun. All right. All right, number nine, Lauren. Yeah, this is the golden monkey, a beautiful creature from Central Africa, but listen to him eat. Look at that thing. <laughs> That's a beautiful animal right yeah, there. Yeah, pretty neat oh, yeah. looking. It was clearly taught to eat by my son. <laughs> <laughs> That's what those people you hear in the movie theaters. Yeah. <laughs> Can you please quiet down? Wow. But there's a reason uh, why. Oh, so oh, this oh, is a slight oh. difference here. <laughs> He's making so much noise because, well, probably because of these teeth. These monkeys mostly eat bamboo and leaves and fruit, but the teeth are to impress wow. the ladies yeah. and get rid ladies. of the other guys. That's what's impressing yeah. the ladies. Those yeah. Teeth. Welcome to cute and cuddly until they bite your right. face off. Right. And they're not wow. so cute. <laughs> I still Jeez. think he looks cute. Yeah, until he bites yeah. you in the neck. Wow. Yeah. Mm. A little vampire teeth. What a magnificent yeah. beast. Yeah. Number eight, we've talked uh, all year about puzzles and knitting and all that other yeah. junk. But if you're really looking to find a new hobby, why not try a project car? Basically a vintage car in need of some TLC. There are all kinds of them on eBay, from 1972 Mini Coopers to 1990s sports cars. Some of them need new engines, but others just need a little interior work. It just depends on how handy you are. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. You got any of that in your DNA, uh, Larry? No. no. Pat, you got any? Not an ounce. Oh, yeah. Not I remember when the... Uh, yeah. In the 80s, when my car crapped out, my neighbor came over and he said, um, there's no oil in here. And I said, oh, you got to keep putting oil in it? Yeah. <laughs> like, hey, no idea. Yeah. I just drive the yeah. thing, man. I just drive it. I've never seen Don't the appeal. Stuff. I know these guys who like fixing up classic cars. Yeah. It's like it, it has a tape deck. What do you, Yeah. you got to crank the <laughs> cool. windows. Yeah. Yeah. I, I bought a 1962 MGA yeah. about 20 years ago thinking I'm really going to work on yeah. this. Yeah. And, I couldn't do any of it. Right? Yeah. Like, I God bless you, and... those of you who do. You're right. better yeah, more than me. I wish I could do that. Yeah. yeah, number seven. So many people are watching uh, Stanley Tucci on Searching for Italy right now. It's the number one cable show in America. You might not be able to cook all that stuff you're seeing on the show, but you can uh, most certainly have an aperitivo. It's a drink, usually wine or a light mixed cocktail accompanied by a small meal at the end of your work day. Sure. It's a mm -hmm. prelude to dinner. Mm -hmm. In Italy, this happens between 7 and 9 p.m. and it's intended to whet the appetite. It's mm. not a happy hour where you drink cheap wine and stuff your face with chicken fingers or nachos. Okay. It's more it's refined and subtle. Maybe a glass of wine and some olives mm -hmm. or a sip on a Campari and soda while enjoying a small plate of prosciutto and cheese. Wow. Mm. You do that between 7 and 9. And then 7 and 9. Dinner's getting ready at 9. Like yeah, I need dinner at yeah. 4.45. No. Too late. That is well, late. in Italy, where they have 14 weeks of vacation, you can probably do those <laughs> yeah. kinds of things. Yeah. Okay, mm. time for number six. Uh, the house from the movie Moonstruck is for sale. It was built in 1829. It's nearly 4,500 square feet, which is a lot for New York. It's on one of the best streets in Brooklyn Heights. 
There are five bedrooms, three and a half bathrooms, plus it's where Cher and Nick Cage filmed the iconic movie. It's listed just under $13 million. Wow. Dollars. Yeah, it's got five bedrooms, though. $13 million. Yeah, yeah, it does. Yeah, in Brooklyn Heights, I guess, but wow. Mm -hmm. All right, a little gaudy. <laughs> Number five, we found a list of the least obedient dog breeds, and here are just a oh. few. The Chow Chow is one of the oldest dog breeds, but they're probably not great for families. That's because they like to bond with one owner and they tend to bark like crazy really? at strangers. Chow Chow. They're yeah, cute. Oh, they are cute. Yeah. Whippets were created by crossing a greyhound in a variety of terrier breeds, so you should know they are built for speed. Fun. And they're sometimes called the poor man's horse. Sure. Mm. Mm. They are great with kids and affectionate, but the problem is simple. They like to run, so if they see a cat or a squirrel, they're going to yeah. take off. Mm. Good for them. Basset hounds. One dog trainer described them like this. They look exactly what they are, dogs <laughs> that really don't give a darn. He said, means basset hounds are smart and they tend to be very bored by training. If you're someone who likes to just sit around the house, this is a dog for you, but don't mm. expect any tricks. Robin had a basset hound, yeah, didn't she? Yeah. She had a couple. Makes a lot of sense now, doesn't it? Makes a ton of sense. Uh. Uh, number four, recent oil spill on Israel's coast created an environmental crisis for wildlife in the area. More than 1,000 tons of tar washed ashore. Marine biologists worked quickly to move the sea turtles to a special rescue center. They were covered in tar from head to, I guess, toe. I, I, did, do they have toes? Sure, yeah, sure. Yeah, they do. Including their eyes, nostrils, and in their stomachs, so conservationists turn to mayonnaise. Oh, I love mayonnaise. To help them out. This is just from Paul. The vegetable oil thins out the tar, so they're feeding the condiment to the turtles with syringes. It dilutes the tar and flushes out their digestive tract. It's also huh. high in protein, as yeah. we all know, and in fat. So right now, the rescued turtles are on the all-mayo diet. <laughs> oh, there are 27 turtles in all, and they're responding well to this treatment. So if all goes well, they could mm. be released back into the wild wow. in a few weeks. All right. That too many mayonnaise loves and a syringe. Some mayonnaise. Don't <laughs> yeah. you too many? That's my kryptonite. Yeah. It's mayonnaise. Awful. Ugh. You know, uh, you know. Gross. So you prefer dead turtles instead? Yes. Yeah, that's what you're saying, right? Given the choice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you should weigh the pros and cons. <laughs> Number three, if you've been using a computer for about 20 years, you probably recognize this. It's the background for the Windows XP desktop wallpaper. Nice green hill and a clear blue sky. Yeah. Well, Grant Merrick, the editor in chief of SF Gate, set out to find it, and he did. It's in Sonoma, California, and it was taken by a photographer in 1996 hmm. who was driving to see the woman who would become his wow. wife. He said the light was just perfect, so he stopped and clicked. He uploaded to a stock photo agency and Microsoft bought it. They paid him six figures for the rights oh. and they went about wow. building their campaign around it from 2002 to, two, or to from 2000 to 2014. At least a billion people wow. saw that photo. Number two. Uh, let's take a ride on an electric unicycle. This one's called the old V11 by InMotion. It can reach up to speeds of 30 miles per hour, but the best part is it has a special suspension system so you can take this thing off-roading. It also has a kickstand so you can keep it upright when stopping for a break. It also is made to withstand rainy days, though it's not recommended for every snow. Yeah. And the best part here is only $2,000. Oh, wow. Mm. Take that down the Edens on a yeah. slow day. Yeah, look at that bouncy little thing. Little Go traffic. down on Laura Wacker. Yeah. Get wow. around. Nice. Yeah. All right. Number one, Lauren. All right, here's a little taste of something people are enjoying on TikTok. It's from an art punk band from Phoenix called Playboy Man Baby. The lead singer is Robbie Pfeiffer. Let's take a look. I just came into the party for the dogs. 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 I don't care about the humans and the jobs. Hey, is he still in HR? Jobs. Yeah, sure am. I just came in for the dogs. 
hossie that the tail is wagging I give tummy rubs, head scratches Human beings will please leave me alone I know I'm getting older Cause the things I get excited about Are getting lamer and huh. lamer I can't make up my mind on this. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's a difficult one, right? There's it's borderline genius and, and borderline stupidity. Yeah. 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 Well, that's pretty much the motto for this show. Yeah, you yeah. got a few in some way familiar. Yeah. Some yeah. You can't tell if it's intentional or how self-aware he is. It's it's confusing. Yeah, I know. I think it's definitely, uh, I think he knows what he's doing. Yeah. All right. So Playboy man baby knows yeah. what he's up to. <laughs> anyway, that's the nine at nine. Hmm. Nine and nine, it's my favorite time. All right.